Achievers, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Shelly, your new favorite manifestation YouTuber and manifestation bestie. Hey, bestie. If you'd like me to help you believe your manifestation into reality, please subscribe down below and join the Believer family. If you guys want to get in contact with me for more one-on-one -on -one help with your manifestation, please go down to the description section of this video and find out more information for ways to contact me. So you guys, today I want to talk to you about hot and cold behavior. Can we eliminate hot and cold behavior? Is there a way to get rid of it? Hot and cold behavior, hot and cold behavior can be in relations to our SP. It could be in relations to other things we're manifesting, a job or our home approval, you know, that hot and cold behavior of you have it one second, then you don't the next second. I mean, who does, who wants that? Seriously. And if you guys know my journey with my SP for months, I was just manifesting hot and cold behavior. And girl, bro, sis, I was tired of that. I was tired of hot and cold behavior. I wanted it to end. It was torture for me personally, through my experience. So through going through all of that, I have figured out how to get rid of it and how I finally came to the point where I stopped the hot and cold behavior. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Seriously. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> that I was able to figure that out. In my experience, it all comes down to self-concept, which I have been speaking a lot about lately to you guys and why I've been pushing self-concept so much because it all comes down to pushing that self-concept. And when you push your self-concept where you're feeling great about yourself and motivating yourself, the more you start to realize that the 3D is just a manifestation of your previous dominant thought. That's all it is. That's all it is. The more you accept that the 3D is a previous dominant thought, the less triggered you will be and the less triggered you will be and the less you'll be getting the hot and cold behavior and it will manifest less and less and you'll start manifesting less the hot and cold behavior because that's what we don't want. Yes, we're going to have moments where we spiral, where we get triggered. But in my personal experience through my manifestation journey, I've learned it's about how long that trigger lasts, how long we let that spiral continue on. In the beginning, when I was manifesting for my SP, I mean, you guys, literally everything was a trigger for me. Music, food, places, objects. And when I tell you music was a trigger, I mean, music was a trigger. I could not listen to music of any kind at all. Well, maybe a little bit of jazz music. That was like the only thing that I could tolerate that would just not, that would just not send me off the deep end. Literally, like every lyric of every song. I mean, it was just everything. Food, like I, that's why I fell into such a big depression because I couldn't even leave my house because it was everything. Literally, I was allowing myself to be triggered and being taken back to the 3D, which again is just an old dominant thought that you have that doesn't exist anymore, but it was taking me back. But I noticed with the more that I worked on my self-concept and knowing that, hey, I'm amazing. Hey, that I'm wonderful. Hey, that I am enough that, you know, this person desires me. This person wants me. I am desired. I am wonderful. I am great. You know, the less the spiral would be able to take a hold of me. It's all about how long that spiral, how long you allow that trigger to keep to keep going, to keep going up in here. The more love you feel for yourself, the more you're aware of your power. And the more you're aware, like I just said, that the 3D is nothing but an old story, an old dominant manifestation, an old dominant thought, an old manifestation that no longer exists. When you are seeing that the 3D is showing you the opposite, and the more that you've worked on your self-concept, the less triggered you're going to be. Then you will start going down the path of talking yourself down from the spiral, down from the trigger, 
naturally. And once you start naturally talking yourself down, your mind, your subconscious will start backing you up. It'll start encouraging you like, yeah, we got this. Yeah, I got this. I got this SP. I got this job. I got this, etc., etc. And it'll start backing you up. But the 3D is just an illusion. It doesn't exist. You're walking in the new truth. You're walking in the new story because nothing can stop our manifestations. You will always get what you say. You will always get what you say. It shall come to pass. So yes, there will be hot and cold behavior, but the more self-concept work that you do on yourself, the better you will feel and the less cold behavior will be manifested in the more spicy, hot, caliente behavior that we want and we desire will manifest and we get what we want. Because I don't know about you, but I'm tired. I'm tired of hot and cold behavior. I don't want any more of that cold behavior. I'm tired of going back and forth. I'm tired of wavering. I'm tired of being in that old story. Aren't you tired? So choose, choose, control the spiral, control your triggers, work on your self-concept. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.